friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jenna. If you're new here, always amazing to have you. Today we are grocery shopping. It is a Sunday morning. I got my Sunday hair today. I got my Sunday sweatshirt on. We're just hanging out at the supermarket today. Honestly, guys, we need to prep for the week. I need to get the stuff for the kids for their lunches. I need to prep my stuff for my Weight Watchers program for the week. I need to do some meal prepping today. So today's the day we're going into the grocery store it's been a while since i've done a little bit of a shop through and a haul i know you guys like to comparative shop a little bit see you know how much the eggs are in this state versus your state how much the milk costs how much the bread costs so i will show you some prices some that i think are super inflated some that i think are still reasonable today i'm shopping at Shoprite. i might stop at stop and shop we'll see um how much Shoprite has that i need that's on my list um so let's go inside let's shop around and then let's go back to my house and i'll show you guys the entire grocery haul all right guys let's shop Upright. Wow, look at that sun. I can actually see it in the camera. I can't look at it dead on, but it looks so beautiful. Look at that shot. That's gorgeous. All right, guys, let's get our shopping cart. We have to put our quarter inside of the cart to pull it out. They do that so that people, I guess, can return their carts. Um, yeah, and then we're going to shop. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Getting our cart. Nope. Okay. So the supermarket celebratory section is chock full. I forgot um, we have Valentine's Day coming up this week and it's also Super Bowl Sunday. So lots going on. Look at these amazing treats for Valentine's Day. And then all the balloons are ready and then they have all the flowers and then they actually also have um, Super Bowl inspired balloons, believe it or not. But the flowers look beautiful. Wow, I might actually treat myself this Valentine's Day. Look at these little babies, succulents for $9.99, super adorable. Here are the Super Bowl uh, balloons, you have game day, then you have the little footballs here, touchdown, those are super great, especially if you're having a little Super Bowl party, look at the little footballs up there, that is awesome. Talk about great merchandising, uh, because it is Super Bowl Sunday, they have all the stuff ready here to make guacamole, so you have your avocados, red onion, jalapeno, and then of course your tomato. Um, the only thing missing here is the cilantro, but I'm sure that's in the fridge section because cilantro should always remain cold. Oh, well, these are interesting. These are colorless. <laughs> I guess they're called pink berries. They are like strawberries, but uh, they have no color. They are barely pink, actually. A few of them are pink and some of them are white. I'm not sure how these taste, if they're sweet or a little bit tart, uh, but they look very interesting. I'm sure they have these because it's Valentine's Day. Um, see, like here, they have these stemmed strawberries, so you can dip them in chocolate, um, but they're a little bit pricey, $8.99. Not really into that. We'll go for the smaller ones. They are tomatoes in a football. Mm, very interesting. These right here are my jam, though, the flavor bombs. I get these every single time. Oh, it's always so hard to find fresh basil, so when I do, I for sure grab it. Um, I like to make bruschetta with this stuff. Mix it with some tomato and some cheese. Oh, so good. All the flowers are so beautiful. It's so hard not to treat yourself. <gasps> Look at these here. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. All right, I think we're gonna come back for these before we check out. The coolest thing I've ever seen, it is a helmet that has Hellman's as the sponsor on there and it's inflatable. So cool, I love it. I think this was actually like a little fuel gold thing, so that's cool. Ooh, Hellman's vegan, wow. This is the first time I'm seeing this at the supermarket. I usually like the follow your heart vegan mayo, so I'll bypass this, but that's great to have as an option. New creamers I have not seen before. Pop-Tarts, toasted brown cinnamon sugar. Wow, that's intense. Twix, I feel like I have seen this one before. Uh, the cinnamon bun, cinnamon bun, whatever you want to call it, cinnamon roll. I've had this one before, it's definitely good. This one is actually zero sugar, which is nice. The Twix one is zero sugar. Oh, I'm tempted, so tempted. All right, checking out some different flavor yogurts. So they have some new light and fit. I don't think I've ever seen orange cream before. Um, I feel like this would taste like creamsicle. I almost want to try it. I'm very tempted. I usually like coconut more. So I think we're going to go for the toasted coconut vanilla. Unfortunately, none of the iced coffee or cold brew is on sale. So we're going to have to pay full price because we need our iced coffee. Um, that's a flash from the past. Uh, pumpkin spice latte. Ooh, and then Khalifa is doing a blonde rose. Ooh, talk about giving Starbucks a run for their money. It's also cheaper. $4.99 brings that one home, and the Starbucks one is $6.49. So big price difference there. I think we're going to go with the Khalifa. Let's try it out. Everybody always loves these Takis. I actually have tried them once before many years ago. Haven't tried them since, um, but there's different flavors now. Nitro, guacamole, crunchy fajitas. That looks delicious. And then there's this flare one, which looks incredibly spicy to me. The eggs are still a little bit high, but I feel like they're not insanely high. Like the store brand here, you get 18 eggs, and that is $6.69. Here you have the 12 jumbo, $4.89. Then you also have the egg lands best, which is usually what I like to get. So the 18 pack is $6.49, which is competitive actually with the store uh, brand. So I think I'm going to go for the egg lands. 
Um, and we're just gonna check them out here, make sure everything looks good. Yep, all right, this is the one. I've been hearing amazing stuff about this Sir Kensington sauces. Ooh, special sauce, is that like the Big Mac sauce? They also have the Sriracha mayo, which I'm very intrigued. 6.29 though, 6.49, it's a little bit pricey, but I'm sure it's all good stuff. And then they have a garlic everything sauce. Oh my gosh, that's 5.49, this looks delicious. I am gonna scan them, see how many points they are, because this would be nice to add to a salad or even like a nice protein, oh yum. Oh, the salad dressing aisle and the croutons, always the hardest thing to pick because there are so many options. This is a fraction of what they have. This aisle literally goes all the way down that way. However, I am on the croutons. I have to scan them on my Weight Watchers app because I know that there's one that's very low in points. I think it was the ShopRite brand, but they might be out of them. So um, I'm gonna scan these here, the Caesar croutons to see how many points they are. And then I'll scan the brand ones to see which ones are lighter. I'm so excited. I just got home with my groceries and look what was just delivered. There was a BOGO promotion on the Vitamin Shop website, buy one, get one half off. So I was so tempted to try this new Alani, new peach flavor. Everybody's been going crazy for it. So I got buy one, get one half off. All right, friends, here is the entire haul. I think I spent about $365, which is not terrible, um, considering that I got a lot of stuff. Some stuff is very high price, right? Like this turkey, this is like $10 for the pound. Then I got some specialty items, the kombuchas, the iced coffee, all this stuff, you know, it starts to add up. Oh yes, and I also got myself some flowers because why not? Um, so let's jump into the haul. Let's show you everything that I got. So the last few weeks, I've been ramping up the fruits and vegetables. As you guys know, I've been kind of following a meal plan. I've been following Weight Watchers, uh, but I like the program because I can still continue with my lifestyle and I can still continue to you know, consume the things that I enjoy. So I did get enough fruit for the kids for the week. We got some more of the Halo oranges. They were on sale. Then I also got a small box of raspberries. I think we still have a box left in the fridge, so I just got a small box of this. I did get a bunch of bananas. Penny eats about a banana a day. I've been actually um, incorporating bananas in my diet. I'll um, either have them for breakfast with an English muffin or, you know, some oatmeal or cereal. I did pick up two avocados. I was thinking about making some guacamole today, but I didn't find any that were soft enough. So I'm just gonna hold on to these for a couple days uh, till they get soft and then make some guacamole. Max loves his honey crisp apples. I did get six of them. This should hold them over because we typically give them about an apple a day. Guys, don't mind my socks down there. They are not matching and they are from the Haunted Mansion. Um, so these flavor bombs, these are my favorite little cherry tomatoes. These are amazingly good. You can eat them by the handful. You can put them in salads. Um, you can saute them with a little bit of pasta and a little bit of protein, super delicious. I did get a container of blackberries. I do kind of regret getting the small box. I should have gotten a bigger box but I might stop at the store once again um, in the next couple of days just to get you know some fresh items so um, this will hold me over for the next couple days. Picked up a container of the Baby Bella mushrooms. These are a fantastic source of protein that you can pretty much add to anything. These have been my favorite thing to snack on lately. These are grapes that taste kind of like a strawberry. It's kind of amazing. Cucumber for some salad and some snacking. I always love this with hummus or some tzatziki sauce. Green peppers, I've been using these to saute in different mixes. Like I'll do a vegetable mix. I will do a pasta mix with some sauce. Low carb, obviously. Green peppers, honestly guys, you can eat these raw. You can cook them. They just go amazing with any dish. I don't always find the fresh basil, so when I do, I totally pick it up because I love fresh basil. I love to add it to pasta. I love to make bruschetta with mozzarella and cherry tomatoes with some delicious fresh basil. Oh my gosh, delicious. Also picked up some salad kits. Well, they're not really salad kits. These are actually just bags of greens. Um, I got the rainbow slaw, which I like to make little mixes with. I did get a bag of the bowl and basket spring mix, a bag of the arugula, and then a bag of the baby spinach. I did still have some greens left over from my last shopping trip, so I didn't go too crazy, but I have been eating about one to two salads a day. A great snack for myself and for Penelope. We love our baby carrots. Again, I dip these in hummus or tzatziki sauce. Either way, they are delicious. 
Thomas's toaster cakes. Uh, these are like the little corn cakes. Max loves these. Sometimes I'll give these to him for breakfast. Um, it's just an easy little thing for him to nibble on if we're on our way to the school bus and he enjoys them. Tonight is Super Bowl Sunday. I'm torn between making some turkey burgers or actually making some wings in the oven. So I don't know. We're, we're kind of prepared for anything. Um, I did buy wings and we have buns and burgers. These are the Pepperidge Farm butter buns and they are so good. I did pick up the package of the Scott Comfort Plus. This one was on sale for a very good price. I think this was on sale for $6.29. It's 12 uh, double rolls, so you're pretty much getting 24 rolls, which I think is a great deal. All right, that's it for the um, fresh vegetables and fruit section. Let's move on here. I did find uh, an herb season crouton that was only one point per serving, which I think is a great deal. Um, this is by the brand Reese. Love our Barilla pasta. Uh, Penny is really into the bow tie pasta. I did get some uh, like Alfredo sauces for her, so I'm going to make her some dinners with this barilla pasta throughout the week i mean how could i not fresh to table jumbo cooked shrimp cocktail i pretty much bought these for tonight for the super bowl um, i am eating light but i can incorporate some shrimp and some cocktail sauce so i feel like this is going to be a great little snack to watch the game I thought this was a very good price competitive with the store brand. So um, I like Egglands. I've never had an issue with Egglands, never had a rotten egg, never had an egg that I didn't like. So I usually stick with this brand, especially if it's on sale. I haven't had smart bacon in so long. This is a plant-based bacon. It's actually really good. It's by the brand Light Life. I have been eating a lot of turkey bacon, but I figured we can alternate it with some smart bacon. Nothing wrong with going a little plant-based sometimes. Picked up a box of the Red Baron deep dish four cheese pizza. Sometimes I will pop these in Max's lunch for like a lunch treat. Sometimes they do pizza Friday. He doesn't always eat the lunch that they provide at school. So I like to pack his lunch at home. Ultimate plant-based chicken fillets. Keep in mind, these are super delicious, 22 grams of protein, but you are only getting three patties in here. Most people expect to get four. Um, it is very expensive. This bag here is about $8 and change. Sometimes you can get it on sale, but these are the only chicken patties that my son will eat and he loves them. I say chicken but they're fake chicken. They're veggie, vegetarian, vegan, whatever you want to call it. These are for me. I love fish fillets, but uh, the regular ones are very high in points. However, these Gardein ones, only four points for the serving, which I think is a great deal. So these are fake fish fillets, but believe it or not, guys, they taste super flaky, super delicious, and they have that fishy taste. I know it sounds weird to say that, but they totally do. They are always vegan, kosher, no dairy ingredients, obviously, nine grams of protein, 200 calories per serving, and they have omega-3s. You can for sure feel good about that. I am also a fan of the Gardein Gardein plant-based mini crab cakes. These are so good, especially if you make a little sauce, right? You can make a little fancy or special sauce for that. 140 calories per serving, nine grams of protein, also has the omega-3s. Now soya, organic vegan Thai basil vegetable dumplings. These are vegan. They're also organic. My husband really enjoys these. They have six grams of protein, which is pretty good. So I picked these up for him for a quick dinner. These breadsticks down here are for Mr. Max. When I make them pizza, I will sometimes, you know, make some breadsticks on the side. A lot of times I will also make them a vegetable pasta the dish and make a couple of breadsticks for them in the air fryer moving on over here we have some cheeses and deli items here we have the bowl and basket cracker cuts we love these and they're perfectly portioned already um, these are the new york sharp white cheddar we also alternate with the yellow cheddar hormel turkey pepperoni 70 percent less fat than the regular pepperoni i can um, incorporate these in my weight watcher sometimes i'll have these with some skinny cow cheese um, on some light crackers and that is a delicious snack this organic balsamic caramelized onion hummus is so good um, um, I usually like to get the Sabra brand of the caramelized onion from them, but I haven't seen that in stock in months. I've been looking for it and I do not find it, but this is a great alternative. Tastes super good. It's organic and it's light. It's a great snack and it's full of protein. So you can feel good about that. Premium Tofu by House Foods. I've had this brand before. It's pretty good. The ShopRite Honey Turkey was not on sale this time, but I love this stuff so, so, so much. And again, it's a great snack on Weight Watchers because it's one to two points, depending on how much you have. We did pick up some cheeses. Here we have the bowl and basket uh, taco blend. Um, I make my kids a lot of quesadillas and tacos. They love it. Bowl and basket mozzarella. This is the part skim. I did buy some pizza dough, so I might make some pizza for dinner this week for the kids. We also love our Sargento. I typically buy this when they're on sale. They weren't on sale, so I only stuck to two packages. I got the four cheese Mexican, which we love for the quesadillas. And then we got the reduced fat medium cheddar slices, which I use for grilled cheeses, chicken sandwiches, you know, turkey wraps, you name it. We
we use this Sargento cheese for. I love the Laughing Cow. I literally will dip pretzels in here and it's such a light snack. Um, this one is the creamy light. And then this one here is the creamy garlic and herb. I love it because you don't technically have to refrigerate this. This actually is not in the refrigerated section when you get it at the supermarket. However, I do pop them in the fridge when I get them home. Penny's cheeses, I, got, I showed you guys, she can't, like she will, she has radar for this cheese. It's pretty amazing. I already opened the red one for her. Um, I did get a bigger bag of the light cheese. I figured that I can probably have these on program. Um, the blue one is the light one. So if you see those in your store, supermarket give them a shot they're pretty good i've been craving some grilled artichoke hearts for my salads not sure why but i love that little tangy um taste that it gives your salad um so this one is by the mazetta brand and they look delicious they have a little bit of char on them they look seasoned i'm very excited to have this i like to make a uh, macaroni and cheese from scratch however we don't always have time penny loves this bolin basket white cheddar macaroni um it does have a lot of cheese in there it's almost swimming in it i actually drain a little bit of the cheese because it's a little excessive but she loves the taste of it. I'll throw it in a little saucepan and heat it up and she is good to go. I did pick up some yogurt. Um, we got the Nusa brand, which is very, very delicious. Sometimes we get the blueberry, sometimes we get the strawberry. And then I did go for the light and fit toasted coconut vanilla flavor. They were on sale. Um, you couldn't beat the price. It's a four pack. Got a little bit wet here, don't mind that, but these are gonna be super delicious for a nice light snack. I did get a good amount of sauces here. So we picked up the Bertoli de Italia. That's the Cacio e Pepe, naturally flavored sauce. I'm not really sure what this is gonna taste like. Uh, it kind of looks like Alfredo, but we'll give it a shot. I also picked up the Ragu Roasted Garlic Parmesan Sauce to go with Penny's Bowtie Pasta. The Sir Kensington Special Sauce was a little bit high in points. I think it was about three points per serving, but I feel like this is a nice little treat. Maybe tonight if I make my turkey burger, I'll add some of this sauce on there. All right, don't knock it till you try it. McCormick, I love tartar sauce. Tartar sauce is one of those condiments. I can dip fries in it. I can dip fish in it. I can dip the shrimp. I love tartar sauce so, so much, but it's so high in fat and calories. McCormick makes a fat-free sauce. It tastes a little bit different. It doesn't taste exactly like tartar sauce, but guys, you won't be disappointed if you still want that creamy, you know, tangy, relishy flavor, right? Because what's in their pickle? That's what makes it like kind of tangy and sour. This stuff is super delicious and it'll satiate that craving, I promise you. I couldn't decide on the salsa, so I went with two. Um, this one we always get. It is the Frontera Double Roasted. Love this stuff. Late July, this was on sale. We've never tried it. I know that the chips by this brand are super delicious. It's organic. This is the thick and chunky medium, so we'll give it a shot and see how we like it. I did get the Grillo's Pickles. I can't rave enough about these. I usually get these at Costco when I can, but I'm not going to Costco anytime soon. So I did get the Pickle Spears, and I love this because look at all the herbs and seasonings and garlic. You can see everything there on the bottom. Bottom, a tube of the Cento tomato paste. This stuff is fantastic for pasta dishes, all sorts of stuff. Even if you're just making like saucy chicken um, with a little bit of tomato sauce, this paste is so concentrated. It has great flavor. Love it. All right, I did pick up a few cleaning slash non-edible items. Container of the Lysol Brand New Day. This is a new scent. It is mango hibiscus. I have not tried this method fabric softener. Um, this is the ginger mango. However, I have tried the little um, softener beads or the scented beads. I needed some antibacterial fabric fabric spray, not only for the house, but for my car. I kind of want to detail the inside of my car a little bit. So I figured for the um, upholstery and all that stuff inside, this would be great to have. And then this here is a brand new multi-surface spray that I've never seen before. This is called Compassion Flower. There's the scent. Guys, it smells so darn good. I love the smell of this. It's giving me very spring summer vibes, so I'm excited to wipe my counters down with this because I feel like it's gonna add a nice scent to the kitchen. Here is that pizza dough that I picked up for one of the dinners this week. Looks delicious, kind of looks like a block of cheese. Um, I can make pizza dough from scratch. It's just the time, right? You have to let it sit and rise. So I figured something like this would be nice where I can lay this out on the counter, let the kids decorate their pizza. All right, my husband took one of the kombuchas already because he was on his way to work, but I did find a new flavor. Um, this one is called Ginger Pineapple Belly Reset. I've never seen seen that one before so I was excited to get that for him this one he has had before it is the citrus immune boost and then here we have the strawberry glow for the creamer I decided to go with the zero sugar coconut cream I have had this one before I love everything coconut scented and flavored so I thought this one would be a fun one to try with my iced coffee all right my cold brew section even the when the stoke is not on sale I always pick this stuff up I do prefer when it's on sale obviously um, I usually either get the yellow one which is the mellow or this one which is the black bold and smooth and then the Khalifa Farms cold brew. This is the blonde rose and it's cheaper, like $2 cheaper than
in the Starbucks blonde roast iced coffee. So I figured I would add this to our fridge for some unsweetened blonde roast cold brew. Evolve plant-based protein shakes, 20 grams of protein. My husband loves this flavor. This is the vanilla bean. And again, it's plant-based. He loves to, you know, eat a lot of vegan or drink a lot of vegan stuff. Um, it just makes him feel good. If you're watching your cholesterol and just like icky stuff, plant-based is not a bad alternative. Um, you can still eat your meat and your cheese, but you know, alternate it every once in a while for plant-based stuff. And you're going to feel so much better. Trust me. I won't bore you too much with the proteins. It's just chicken. Um, also a pack of the Beyond Burgers. So if I do decide to do the burgers tonight for the Super Bowl dinner, um, my kids typically like the Beyond Burgers. I did pick up a couple of crunchies. I got some sun chips in the Harvest Cheddar for Mr. Max. These are the tortilla chips that I've been eating on program. I can make like low carb nachos where I'll just take like eight to 10 chips, add black beans, add a little bit of soy protein, add some salsa, which is zero points. You can add a little bit of sour cream, maybe some light sour cream. Good to go guys, I'm telling you, on Weight Watchers, you can have so much stuff that you actually enjoy. It's not even funny. All right, friends, that is the haul. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had some fun shopping with me a little bit and then checking out the goodies that I got. I hope I was able to give you a little bit of inspiration on some new snack ideas, maybe some dinner options. If you guys haven't subscribed, please consider hitting that red subscribe button. If not, that's cool too. You can just totally come and hang out with me and watch my videos. Uh, but I will catch you guys on the next one. Awesome to see you, bye.